folks we're out for another night and I'm gonna have to make this quick <laughs> we may have bit off a bit more than we can chew here but there's a big storm rolling in I thought I could squeeze out a quick walk but the storms rolling in a bit faster than I expected all the same managed to find this beautiful large female bamboo pit viper on the move probably also seeking shelter herself because she's pretty hefty at the lower end there she could be gravid um, also could have a decent meal and it looks a bit more like a gravid female to me than a, a full female but either way still a beautiful beautiful snake um, lucky we could find her I don't know there'll be much out right now I think most things probably would have gotten a sense that the storms coming and moved in so this might be the only thing we filmed tonight if so not a bad one um, and if not you'll see us again shortly All right, rain's about to come down, so I don't have time to pull out the uh, um, pro video gear. So we've got the iPhone here. There is a retreating bamboo viper right there. And if you bear with me a second, there is also a bamboo viper in ambush here. Now the storm's rolling in, so that first one retreating makes a bit of sense to me. This one seems to be quite content to sit and wait for its meal. It'll just point down like that until a gecko or some other prey item runs in its path and then it'll just scoop it up. So pretty cool that we're seeing this much activity right before a big storm. Normally things have taken shelter and I, I get the sense they have some sensitivity to barometric pressure movements. Um, I'm not sure that that's been very well documented, but based on my experience and gut feel, it seems to be something that holds true. Anyways, we're, we're walking real fast this time, so I'm not sure how much more we'll see. I know I've already said that, but hey, three bamboos in the span of 100 meters is not too shabby. So pop back on with the cell phone again if we find anything else. All right, the wind and rain and thunder and lightning have come, but it's not holding back these big female bamboo pit vipers. <laughs> so pretty crazy to see them just uh, hanging in there in ambush through the storm. And uh, who knows, maybe this is a behavior that they enjoy when it's stormy and rainy out. But four vipers in a very short period. I, I guess let's see if we can keep the tally going in the middle of this rain. I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> 30 yards down the trail, a little male. Can't tell if he's uh, sitting out getting ready to set up or looking to retreat. He looks like he's undecided too. All right, let's keep it going. Another viper, this time a tiny one. Looks a little bit indecisive, but pretty much seems to It's ridiculously windy and rainy and thundery out. Unbelievable. Just doesn't end. <laughs> nice little male. Also just doesn't seem bothered by the weather. Looking to set up and get a meal. Pretty wacky night. Another one set up for the hunt. A little bit annoyed with me. <laughs> Jeez, how many more are we gonna get? All right, folks, now time for the good stuff. Not that the vipers weren't awesome, but this is an adult large spotted cat snake. And these guys are a very cool species of arboreal snake here in Hong Kong. They're from the genus Boiga, and I do find them out when it gets a little bit wet like this, so pretty cool that we stuck with it. And not only in a short span of time did we see all these vipers, but we came up with a, a cat snake, species we haven't seen for quite a while on the vlog. Too bad we don't have the pro gear out to film it. Very cool. Okay, folks, we have a surprise treat tonight. 
just behind my house, I came across this little juvenile toke gecko. Look at his little black and white tail and his grumpy I'm gonna bite you if I get a chance face. These guys are awesome little reptiles and they're not that common in Hong Kong but there are stable breeding populations in a number of locations. Um, one of those locations happens to be pretty close to where I live. So just stopping here gonna get a few photos of him and then I'm gonna go ahead and let him go. But really cool little find. I wasn't actually expecting to go out tonight. I had a few minutes to go out for a short walk and the herp gods delivered. So cool little find. Off to the house now. This will close us out for tonight, but we'll be back on again tomorrow or the day after with some more. All right, folks, we're out for another night and we came across a really bizarre scene here. This is an Asiatic painted frog being attacked by a freshwater crab in this riverbed. I've never seen anything like this. So we're just going to watch this for a few minutes and see how it plays out. Oh, and the frog has gotten away. Very cool. Okay, folks, we have a fun little treat tonight. Just walking around and came across this tiny little dark phased burrowing rufus snake. These are a semi fossorial species. We've seen one before uh, earlier in the year that was more of a yellowish gold. This one's a little bit more to the dark side. They can actually be jet black as well. But this one is, uh, I would say he's kind of a gray black and he's got a little bit of yellow um, under his chin there. So who knows what it'll look like when it grows up. I would say this one is about maybe sub-adult range. They're not a big snake in general, but you can kind of see here with my finger, they're, they're pretty tiny. And this guy's probably, probably just getting out of juvenile into sub-adult. So, Interesting snakes. I usually find them uh, early in the morning, but I can find them in the evening as well. So, pretty fun spot. Pretty happy with this. And it's really just getting into the good part of the night, so hopefully we've got a little bit more in store. And one more thing to notice here is they actually have really iridescent scales. There's almost this sort of rainbow hue iridescence to them. May or may not come through on the video light. Certainly in uh, bright sunlight you can see it, but maybe right along the bottoms there as I scan across you can kind of see some of that, that rainbow iridescence. Really unique um, characteristic of this species. There you go, you can see some around the uh, where the body bends. There's some pretty distinct rainbow specular highlights coming off. Very cool. All right, we're gonna get some photos of this guy and then be on our way. All right, folks, we've got one of our more common appearances on the vlog, the white spotted slug snake. I think we've seen quite a few of these in recent vlogs. They're uh, basically a little uh, terrestrial snake that specializes on eating slugs and snails. This is a mature specimen. They're not a big species. You can see my hand there. But really cool little snakes. And this is a typical defensive posture. I was getting him in situ. He was just slithering over this rock. And then he got whiff of me and so he coiled up a little bit. But I'm not going to bother him too much. Just going to get this quick video. And then we will be off to see what else we can find before the end of the night.
Okay, folks. We have got what I think is going to be a pretty solid closer for the night. This is a sub-adult many-banded crate. And it happens to be a particularly striking one with really, really tight bands. Really, really high contrast black and white. Um, definitely one of the better looking many bandits I've seen in a while. And one of the first ones I've seen this year, actually. Um, they haven't been quite as common as they were last year. So these are by far the most toxic snake in Hong Kong as we've explained on previous vlogs. They're in a lapid, so they have a very potent neurotoxin, and it's delivered through these highly efficient small fixed front fangs. And they're definitely one of the more interesting species here. They're very much uh, snake eaters. They'll take other prey as well, but Snakes are their main diet, so I think we found this one on the prowl looking for another snaky meal, which bodes well for our chances at maybe finding at least one more on the walkout, but if not, this is a great closer. So, anyways, we're going to go ahead and get a few more photos of this guy, and then we're going to leave him be and get on our way. Um, maybe one more thing I can highlight, though, while I've got him, is if you take a look at the scales along the vertebrae here. You can see they're actually quite a bit larger than the scales on the sides. So these are called vertebral scales, the scales that run right down the middle of the vertebra. And this is a great way of telling a crate from a mimic like a wolf snake. So we've talked about that on previous vlogs, but this is some really clear footage where you can really see those um, those uh, large scales on the spine there. Alright. Solid last find. Potential last find. We'll check back in if we find anything else. Okay, so I guess we're not ending on the many banded, but instead we may finish off on this beautiful little mock viper. We've had these on the vlog from earlier in the year and the end of last year as well, but this is just another one of Hong Kong's fantastic species of snake. He's getting a little bit grumpy. Let me see if I can calm him down. Give me a second. Okay. So I should mention these are a rear fanged, mildly venomous snake. Uh, the venom's not dangerous to people. Uh, it uh, causes a little bit of itching, maybe some small localized swelling, but it's really, really more effective on geckos, which is their main food item, especially when they're mature. Uh, but these guys will definitely bite readily, and they do behave a little bit like their namesake vipers. They S up and lash out, but they're a, a really interesting snake. They're very well camouflaged. Um, they've got some really spastic movements. You can see here as well, there's a sort of a characteristic V-shaped marking on top of the head there. It's one good way to distinguish them from true vipers. Also, you can tell their head's kind of long and narrow as opposed to something like a bamboo viper, which is gonna be a lot wider. And they've got these really fantastic matte finish scales. This patterning you see on the body with these little uh, um, circular fleck areas a little bit of faded striping is very common, but they do have a very, very wide variety of colors that they come in from orange to ruby red to coffee brown. I've seen black variants. This tan variant's a little bit more common, uh, but also quite nice. And yeah, just a really unique species. You can see here a pretty stunning looking snake actually. So we're not gonna bother this guy too much longer. I'm gonna get a few good photos and then we'll get back to our walk out. I'm assuming this will be our last one. We're getting close to the end so not sure how many more we can find. Oh and for a bonus right next to this mock a couple of amorous toads. All right off goes our mock and so do we. Okay, folks, it looks like we're not going to get out of here that easy. We've got another mock viper set up sleeping on this 
fern frond and I don't really want to disturb it so that it moves off the frond. I'd like to uh, leave it here. It's a great in situ. So not much to say about this that we didn't already say about the other one. They're actually even very similar coloration. So we'll leave it at this. I'm gonna grab some quick picks and then we're gonna see if we can get to the end. Evening everyone. We've got a fun treat here. This is a very large, fully matured bamboo pit viper. And it's obviously a female. You can see there's no white stripes down the body or on the upper lip. And males would never ever quite reach this size. I would say she's, I'm not sure, just a little bit maybe under a meter when she's fully stretched out. But quite a large snake. Very, very fun to find. This is the first really big female of the year that we found. You can see there they have a much longer, more narrow head than the males do when they're at this size. And the keeled scales are obviously um, much more pronounced when they get this big. So we're not gonna bother her too much. Just take some photos and then let her be on her way, but Wanted to make sure that we got this one on film.